let's learn about how to pass the data from parent component to child component. In Angular, there are a couple of ways to pass the data from parent to child. But here we will start learning with the input property. This is the home component of this application and in this home component we are using this app authors component as a child component. Now I want to pass some data from this particular home component to this app authors component. Let's learn how to do that. As a first approach we will be using input property. It means we are expecting something in the child component. So let's go to the child component first. And this authors component is available inside this shared module. So here we are, there we go. At this place we have to use the input property. How to do that? This input is provided by the angular. So we have to use at the rate and then input. This input is available inside at the rate angular core. There we are. Now we have to put the parenthesis and provide a name to this particular property. Whatever name you want to have over here, you can have it. So let's say here I'm having data and let's define its type. So let's say the type is number. That's it. Now we have defined a property over here. Now if you will look more closely, this is a very simple property. And on this property, we are using this at the rate input. And this is something that is making it special. Now you can use this property just like your other normal properties in this component. You can use it either in this TS file or you can also use it over here on this HTML file. So let's use this on the HTML file. And here I'm writing one more line. So here I'm writing data coming from parent just for the identification. And here I'm using these curly braces and use this data property. Now this child component is set to get the data from its parent. Let's go to the parent. Here is the parent and this is the place where we are using this child component over here. We can pass the data to the child component from this particular selector. So first we have to write the square bracket and here we have to type the name of the input property that was data and here I can assign its value. Let's say here I'm writing one, two, three. Just save the changes and without doing anything else, let's go to the browser. Here we are on the browser and this is the message that we are getting from the child component. Although we are at the home component that is the parent one, but this particular code is coming from the child and we are passing this data from parent to child. Let's put both of them side by side like this. And here let's update the value. So this time if I'm having only one, then it will get updated to one automatically. Perfect. Here we are passing some hard coded data. Now let's say I want to pass some dynamic data or for example, I am using this counter service dot counter. So I can pass this one as well. Save the changes. The default value of this counter is zero. That is why we are having this zero over here. If I hit on this plus button, you can notice that we are also getting the updated value over here plus 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 plus. Now let's assume that I want to pass more than one property in this child component. So how can I do that? Similar to this first property, I can create one more property over here. And let's say this time I want to use a Boolean type property. So I'm having this input and here it is. So authors, I want to basically handle the situation from the parent. So here I'm writing the Boolean type. Okay. And this is the so authors. Let's go to the HTML file. Here we are and uh, over here I want to display this data only if the value is true. So here I am writing this one. Just save all the changes and go back to the browser. On the browser you will see by default that message is hidden. Why? Because we are not passing any data from the parent component and if you are not passing anything it means the default value is false. Let's try to pass something from the parent component. So here we are on this home component and here I can pass the second input property as well. Let's see here I'm passing true. You can notice that this message is visible to us now and everything is working fine as expected. If I'm passing false over here, 
then you can see again that property is hidden you can also pass the dynamic data to it so let's say i want to pass this data only if this counter service is greater than 4 save the changes so go back to the browser the counter is 0 as of now so we are passing false if i hit this plus plus the value is 2 again the condition is false and the message is not visible here also the condition is false and we are not getting any data because 4 is not greater than 4 if i hit the plus button again you will see we are getting this message and this time because that show authors property is getting true value this is how we can use the input property now let's understand a proper scenario let's go to the all books page on this all books page we are displaying all the books let's go to this particular component so here we are this is the component that we are using src app books components all books component and the entire code we have written over here now let's say in this application i want to create one more page and on that page i want to display only the recent books so for that let's create one more recent page in this application open the terminal window and here i'm writing nggc We are having this new component over here and let's just create a route for this one so this is the routing here i'm adding recent and it is the recent book component very simple now let's go to this old books component and over here I can create one more link let's use the router link and here I'm passing the recent save all the changes go back to the browser we are having this particular old books component if I click on this recent books we are navigated to this recent books component fantastic and just for the implementation let's go to this book service and in this book service let's get one more method for the recent books and from this place let's return only few books so you can notice we are returning only Two books from this recent books service okay let's go to this recent books component and over here let's use that service the service is this book service and here i'm creating one more public property that is the recent books the type is book model Let's get one more method. And let's assign this data to the recent books. We can copy the html of the books from this old books component so i'm just copying this everything paste it over here and this time the name of the object is recent books so let's use this one save the changes we need to copy the css as well so i'm having this one go to this html page save the changes we are done let's go to the browser on this recent page you will notice that we are having two books on the old books we are having all of them but there is a problem in this code the problem is that we are writing this entire code two times whatever we have written over here we are writing it over here and again we are writing this card here in this recent component and if i need to make some change in the design then i have to update that design at two places 
first this old books component and second this recent books component the better is we can create one common component that will be specific to the books card and we can use that book card in both the components let's understand how to do that so basically this book component is not required in other modules so i can create it only inside this books module let's do that so this time i will be using book card like this so in the books this time you will notice we are having one more component that is this book card and in this book card i can use this entire code so let's cut this everything from here and move everything to this book card like this so forget about this recent book just for now we will take care of this one and this time let's go to this ts file and here we will expect a list of all the books from the parent component there are two ways to write this particular code first is we can create a list over here or we can also create only one card and we can use that loop in the parent component so it is all about the concept you can use as per your need so here i'm writing books and i will expect that data from the parent so here i'm writing input books the type is book model that's it and now i can use this book over here we are done if you go to this old books you can see from this place i can remove this entire code so if it is not there then this css is also not required we can remove this entire css as well and let's move this to this books card from the recent books we have already removed it and from the css of the recent books let's remove this one as well fantastic now this is the book card that we are using and this is the selector for this one i can use this selector in both the components so first i will go to this all books and in this all books i will be using this selector like this and here we have to provide the data of the books and the data of the books is available inside this books variable very good we are done at this particular page you can see the code is neat and clean we are only writing only one single line go to the recent books even let's copy this line and go to the recent books here also i can just paste that code but this time the object name is recent books this is the recent books here we are save the changes and just go back to the browser so this old books is working fine if i go to the recent books this recent book is working fine but what is the benefit this time if i need to make any change in the book card then i need to do it only at one single place and also the code of the parent is looking very neat and clean there is one more very important concept in this input property as of now whatever name i'm using over here i have to tell the parent that you need to pass the data in this property but let's say i want to use the alias for this particular property name so how can i do that in this scenario let's say i want to tell the parent that you need to pass the data in the old books property so i can write that name over here like this save the changes immediately you will notice you are getting the error in the parent component let's go to this parent component and this time you will see that this books is not available in the parents because this time this old books is available and this books is just the alias so here instead of using this books i have to use the all books the error is gone from this all books component similarly from the recent books also i can use the all books and everything is working fine this time here in the child component i'm using the books but i am getting the data from the parent in this all books so this is the concept of the alias and just for the testing here everything is working fine if i go to the old books this page is also working fine you can use any one of the approach as per your need